Hey guys, here's a 2005 Lakewood HV4 in this kind of bluish purplish color. Now I got this little fella off eBay in September of 2021 and unfortunately it was damaged during shipping and I made a video on this I think sometime last year kind of going over the extent of the damage but what happened was the rear bearing carrier which is made of pot metal was I guess very brittle from age and heat and all that and it had cracked from the fan getting you know shifted around in the box during shipping so the entire motor and blade assembly was flopping about inside the grills of course the blades got crushed the lead wire from the switch had been torn out and it was a real big mess so of course the fan was non-functional so i reached out to the seller and thankfully he was very kind and we were able to work something out and there was much of a loss on either of our ends, which was great. And I ended up keeping the fan, even though it was technically a fan for parts at that time. But I did go through it this past summer, I think in June, and I made a video of me attempting to fix it, which was unsuccessful at first, but it did work out. And this is the final result. And the fan does run once again. So yeah, let's just take a closer look at it. It's uh, the bluish purple color, as I mentioned. Kind of an interesting color, not very common, I don't think. Logo is starting to wear out. Yeah, the blades were a hot mess when I got it, but uh, they straightened out okay. And there's our shaded pole motor. <laughs> of course, our repair that is very crude, very grotesque. It's uh, two zip ties just holding the motor onto the rear grille. And it works surprisingly. Now, from what I know, I think these Lakewood HV4s were the first, um, first fans in this style, this little four inch form factor. Of course, now we just have those cheap USB versions Yeah, not a very pretty repair, <laughs> that's for sure. Uh, there's our little UL date code there. September of 2005. And there's some information on this side, so let's check that out. Come on. I think I'm too close. Oh, there we go. Model HV4, and it draws 0.5 amps. <laughs> Can you believe that for a little tiny motor? That is nuts. Made in China, though. Okay, so let's go ahead and run it. So, of course, this being a single-speed fan, here it is on high speed. So as you can hear, it's not super quiet, and that's partially because the repair was semi-successful. It's not perfect, it's not like factory condition, but it runs. I mean, that's all that matters, at least in this case for me, um, because what I tried to do initially, if you go back to the repair video that I did on it, uh, I tried using JB Weld to essentially epoxy the pieces back together, the bearing pieces. And that didn't work out because the pot metal was so brittle that it started cracking even more when I repaired it and tried putting it back together. So I ended up just using the zip ties and that I couldn't really get the bearings back into perfect alignment. So something is rubbing, but yeah, at least it runs. <laughs> That's all that matters for now. So it's still a quiet fan, moves actually a good breeze, perfect for a desk. And uh, I actually used this fan a few times when I was soldering. And this was a perfect little fan to have by the soldering iron to blow away the fumes. So, yeah, it, it, has, it has a job around the workshop. A good chunk of the noise is just the fan resonating its sound through the table. If I lift it off the surface, it's very quiet.
Yeah, I'm sure without that problem with the bearings, this would be a wonderful little fan, but oh well. I'll shut it off. It's got a pretty quick spin down. <laughs> well, there you have it, guys. That is the 2005 Lakewood HV4. Looking and running much better than when I first got it, that's for sure. So that's going to wrap up this one, so thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace!